So this topic is about linear equations in one variable. So before we discuss about linear equations in one variable, let's come back from algebraic expressions or algebraic equations. So an algebraic expression was expressed in various forms where we had a one term which was called monomial, two terms which was a binomial, three terms with trinomial. Similar way, we have some algebraic expressions which are defined through their degree or the power of x. Now those are the algebraic expressions which define the linear equations or any other equation in one variable, two variables or etc. So let's see what exactly is a linear equation. So the definition of linear equation is Before we understand a linear equation, let's try to understand the degree of a linear equation or, or degree of an equation. For example, I take if I take some equation or an expression, I say that degree of this is 2. The highest power of x which is in the given algebraic expression is called degree. So now let's see the definition of linear e equation or a linear expression. So in this case, if I take the expression as 3x squared plus 2, I find that the degree is 2. Now what is degree? Degree is the highest power of the unknown variable in an entire expression or an equation. Now in this case, I find that the highest power of x is 2. Therefore, degree of this algebraic expression is said to be 2. Now let's take one more example of x minus 3. So in this case, I find that the highest power of the unknown variable x is 1 therefore the degree of this expression is said to be 1. So there are various equations or expressions which have various degrees and those degrees define the linearity of the equation. So let's come to the actual definition. So when I want to define the linear equation, an equation whose degree is 1 is called a linear equation. So an equation where the degree is 1 is called a linear equation. Say for example, I take x plus 2 equal to 0. This is an equation because I equate it. This is an e expression because I cannot equate this. So in case of this equation, this algebraic equation, I find that the degree is 1. So therefore, this algebraic equation is called a linear equation according to the definition which says that the degree must be 1. Since the degree is 1, this algebraic equation is a linear equation. Now let's take one more example. Now in this case, what is the difference I find between the previous problem and this? I find that there is only one variable x here, but I have two variables x and y here. So let's decide the degree of each of the variables. So in this case, I find that degree of x is 1 and in case of this, degree of y is also 1. So this also satisfying the definition of the linear equation which says that if the degree is 1, the given equation is a linear equation. Therefore, since the degree is 1 in both the cases of the unknown variables x and y, this algebraic equation is also said to be a linear equation. But the difference being that this is said to be a linear equation in one variable, this is said to be a linear equation in two variables. The one variable here being x, the two variables here being x and y. So this is how we define the linear equations and we just justify the one variable or two variable concept by identifying the number of variables available in that linear equation. But finally, the definition says that if the degree is 1, then that algebraic equation is called a linear equation. One variable in this case, two variables in this case. So let's take one more problem. Now this is a linear equation because each of its degree is 1. 
degree of y is 1, degree of z is also 1. Now we can call, by going with the previous two examples, I can call this as a linear equation in three variables, the three variables being x, y and z. So there are various types of linear equations which can be expressed in different forms as one variable, two variable or three variable. So in this initial session of the topic, we are going to discuss about linear equations in one variable and how to solve them. So before that, linear equations are split into two forms. one variable and two variable. The three variable linear equations of course are not discussed in this part of the syllabus but it comes in the higher classes when we go in the future sessions. So linear equations are split into one variable and two variables based on the different types of problems which are going to discuss further. Now, the first concept of what we're going to discuss in the one variable concept is solving of linear equations. We'll see how we can solve the linear equations, of course, in one variable. First, initially, we're going to discuss about one variable concept. So my first topic of discussion here would be solving of linear equations in one variable. Say for example, I take uh, one of the problem with this. I clearly understand that this is a linear equation in one variable because the degree is 1 and the unknown variable here is x. There is only one variable. So this is a linear equation in one variable which is x. Now when I mean solving of this equation indirectly I mean finding of the unknown variable x. So I want to simplify this further to find the unknown variable x. Now we all know it's quite simple here that when you want to solve the linear equation always remember if I am solving the linear equation in one variable that one variable has to be kept on the left and all the remaining terms should be taken to the right. That is how the solving process is done. Say for this example, x plus 7 equal to 0. This is the unknown variable x and this is the constant 7. So for solving, the first step which I proceed with is taking the unknown variable x to the left and all the constants to the right. Therefore, here this happens to be x on the left and then plus 7 comes to the right as minus 7. And this is how this solving is done. Of course, this is a very simple problem. But the method of solving starts with taking all the unknown variables to the left and all the constants to the right. And then solving to get the value of x. In this case being x equal to minus 7. Next. If I wanted to solve this problem. So in this case, also, this is a linear equation in one variable because the variable here is x and clearly its power is 1. So for this linear equation in one variable, I am going to solve keeping in mind that the first step is taking all x terms to one side and all the constants to the other side. Therefore, in this case, minus 2x remains on the left and the constant which is independent of x comes to the right with 4 fixed on the right side and plus 3 coming to the right side as minus 3 or negative 3. This is how I take all x terms to one side and all the constants to the other side. Now after this, I identify that this is negative 2x equals 4 minus 3 which is 1. Then again I have something multiplied to x so that I want to bring this constant to the right and then simplify to get x. So therefore, I get this to be x is equal to 1 divided by negative 2 comes to the denominator. The product comes as the division and then finally this is minus 1 over 2. 
this is the value of x. This is the solution for the given linear equation in one variable. So when you want to solve the linear equation in one variable, it's very simple. The first step which you're going to follow is take all the unknowns to the left and all the remaining terms to the right and then find the value of x.